Right then, in this video, I'm going to drive a crane with DC pulsive modulation motors. I've never come across a crane with DC motors before. This is very interesting and very fun to drive. So then, I've previously come across cranes that are entirely relay controlled and use AC motors with a pole changer system where the relays are used to put three phases into a motor in different ways as a very primitive way of giving the motor two different frequencies for very basic free speed control for motor in a very jolty way. I've also driven loads and loads of modern day cranes with AC variable frequency motors. But in this video, we're driving a crane where the rotation of the crane is on a DC motor with a DC pulsing drive. This signifies an era where they had thyristors to pulse the power supply into the motor for better speed control, but hadn't yet got the full ACVF drive. So for this era only, they used DC motors rather than AC motors. Although weirdly, only the rotation of the crane is actually on DC motors because the moving of the hook is actually on an ACVF motor. So it's a bit weird they've got a mix of two different technologies on this crane. Anyway, Anyway, let's now go and drive this very unusual crane. So I climb onto the roof of the building, and now I climb onto the crane. And here I am, halfway up the crane. And here I am, up near the top of the crane. Let's continue climbing it. And now I go into the rotating axis of the crane. I always find the rotating axis a very interesting part because it's very industrial looking and I find it very interesting how these cranes pivot on this rotating axis. And now I climb up to crane cab level. And before we go into the crane cab, let's just inspect the crane driver's apple juice. And now into the crane cab. And let's now drive it. Let's start by rotating a crane because that's the part that's on the DC motor. And the DC pulse width modulation sounds awesome. It sounds like a classic train from the 1980s. When driving this crane, it actually sounds like I'm driving a tram. So let's now rotate the crane. And now let's drive the hook motor, which interestingly is actually on an AC VF motor and sounds like a mon crane. So weird they're using both AC and DC motors on the same crane. Because those are two different eras of technology, that's just a bit odd. And now let's drive the moving carriage of the crane.
And now let's take a look in the crane's logic cabinet. And now let's climb up to the top of the crane and take a look at the motors. I was about to start driving a crane again. Yeah, yeah. And then we realised we were spotted and we had to leave the site very quickly. Thank <laughs> you. 